Okay, so I know that I made my um, kraut burgers, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the um, flour um, balls left. I don't even know what you would want to call these things. That's terrible, isn't it? But anyway, I'm going to I'm going to whip up some eggs. I'm going to scramble some eggs, and I'm going to put some diced ham would really really be good with these because it'd be like a ham hot ham and cheese or excuse me a ham and cheese hot pocket but instead i'm just going to put some i'm going to crack some eggs and i'm going to scramble those up and i'm going to i've got those frozen bacon bits that i um whenever i made that non breakfast pizza I'm not going to add gravy to this just because I want to make this super, super fast. And I'm going to put it in those, and I'm going to bake it with those kraut burgers. Alright, so I got six. I'm just going to do eight eggs. That's kind of like one egg. Okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to whip up these eggs and get a fork. I notice if you take and bust the yolks with the fork, that they'll whisk better, whip better, however you want to call it. I'm going to add pepper to this, but I'm not going to add any salt. Just because I get salt from the bacon that I'm going to put in here, and I also use bacon grease so it doesn't stick. So I'm not going to add any salt. I'm just going to add straight up pepper. Let's see? Okay, so... My mixture has cooled. I still can't get this hole out, but I'm going to work with it anyway. So I have in here, I have scrambled eggs, bacon, and cheese. And again, again, I don't salt them. I just put pepper because the bacon, all that other stuff has a lot of salt in it. So that's what we're going to use. I'm going to try to fix this hole. I'm not sure that it's going to allow me... There we go. Okay. So it looks like a little bit of a, a mess, but it's okay. And I'm just going to add them to there. I'm going to get a bigger spoon. Okay. That's easier. And I'm going to pack these full. That way... I, have, I would rather have one of these to throw away than some egg mixture to throw away. And a hole there, but we can fix it. There we go. It's still a little warm, as you can tell. It's kind of popping through, but it's perfectly fine. These have been sitting so long that they're kind of not pliable like they were earlier, but we're going to make it work. And it left. Get everything I threw. Okay. So, I'm going to bake these in the oven at 350 until they're done. I end up with one left. Oh, well. This is what they look like. And we're going to bake them and see how they come out. Okay, so the breakfast ones are done. I'm going to cut one in half just so you can see what they look like. They're hot out of the oven. But there's the inside of it. This would be really, really good, like I said, to have some homemade milk gravy served with it. Dunk it in that. Um, or just, you know, the key, like... My daughter, she can just heat one up, and as she's waiting on the bus to come, she can eat it. Um, maybe some home fries with it, or a hash brown, or just simply like it is. So, I hope you can recreate these recipes. If you do, let me know, and um, thank you guys for watching.